Hi, this is Josh from Digiquatics, and today I'm going to show you how to get started. So when you first go to digiquatics.com in your mobile web browser, this is the homepage you're going to see. So you're going to go ahead and click sign in in the upper right hand corner. On the login page here, you're going to enter in the email and password that your supervisor provided when you signed up for Digiquatics. So go ahead and click sign in after you enter those. So when you first log in, this is the Digiquatics dashboard. So we have a bunch of quick links to go in and submit information for your facility. But let's first go ahead and take a look at your user profile. So when you click on your name in the upper right hand corner and then click my profile, here is all the information of you as an individual employee. So first let's go ahead and edit your default password to something more unique for you. So go ahead and click edit password and this is going to take you to the update information page for your profile and then click change password and enter a new one and the same confirmation and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and click update employee. The next thing that we're going to do is edit your notification settings. So if you go to your name in the upper right hand corner again and then click my notification settings you're going to be able to decide if you want to get email or text message notifications for various different things at your facility. So for chemicals, sub requests, time off requests, and various other things depending on whether you're an admin or not, you're going to be able to change these just by clicking on them and then clicking update notification preferences. The next thing that we're going to do is submit your availability so your supervisor knows when to schedule you. So go ahead and click on your name and then click My Availability. So when you first log in, you're not going to have any, so let's go ahead and add one. So just click Add Availability, and then let's say you can work from 5 a.m. to noon. You can go ahead and change those times. And then just click Submit Availability. If you need to edit any of these, just click the green bar change the time and click update. To delete one of them, go ahead and click it and then just click delete availability. Next we're going to submit a time off request. If you need a vacation or a doctor's appointment, we're going to go to my time off request under your name again. And here you're going to have a queue of all the ones that have been approved and are still pending. So let's go ahead and click add request for a new one. And if it's going to be for a partial day for just a few hours, you can go ahead and click the date, the start time and the end time. And you can put in a description. And then click submit. And here we can see that it's pending. If you want to do one for one or multiple days, just click add request, go to all multiple days and submit one there. To edit one of these requests at any time when it's in the pending process, just click the pencil and you'll be able to go ahead and change these times and update the request. Next we'll go ahead and look at the schedule feature. So click on the menu button and then click schedule. So here you'll be able to see all of the other people that are working with you at this specific location. You can navigate forward and backward by day or by week if you'd like to see in the future. To go to my schedule only, click on your name, then click my schedule. This is going to show you all of the shifts that you're working for this time period. If you need a sub for any of these, all you have to do is click on the shift and then it's going to verify. You can put in a reason and then click request sub. Now you can see that the color changed so now it has a sub requested and it's in the queue. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the sub request queue. So if you click on the menu and go to open sub request we can see there's 12. So here's a list of all the other employees at your facility that are requesting a sub for their shift. So on any one of these, if you go ahead and click the open button, you'll be able to see who's requesting for what location, 
what position and when the shift is and why they might have requested that sub. And you can also verify that you're not going to go out over hours for that week. So let's say you want to pick up another person's shift. You can just click the open button and then you can see here that I'm scheduled for zero hours for that week. So I can go ahead and click accept shift. And this is going to go for your manager's approval. And then once it's approved, the schedule will automatically update and you'll see the shift on the My Schedule page. Finally, let's go ahead and take a look at the employee contact list real quick. So hit the menu and then contact list. And you'll be able to see all of the employees that are working with you at your facility. And on a mobile device, you'll be able to click call and directly call or text message any one of these employees if you need to get a hold of them. That's all for now. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email or click the pink question mark in the lower right hand corner and send us a message at any time.